Okay, in this video, we're going to cover quick controls on Android 3.1 Honeycomb. Now, quick controls are in the web browser, and it's something that was added in Android 3.1. And 3.1 came out, uh, you know, a month or so ago, but uh, I never did a video on it, so I thought it would be good to actually show you guys because it's kind of deep in the settings, and in case you don't know about it, it's kind of a useful tool. So I'm going to go to the web browser here and it brings up a regular web page, a blank web page. And as you notice on the top, you have your basic controls, your tabs, your search bar, all that good stuff that you see normally what you're used to on your desktop, on your laptop, and whatnot. But on a tablet, you have limited screen real estate. So it helps if you can actually get rid of things like the top navigation bar and the tabs and all that. Now, in Android Honeycomb 3.1, they added something called Quick Controls. And the way to access that is you go into your menu up here, and you go into your settings here. Now, once you're in your settings, you go to Labs here, the Labs tab there. Now, first on the list here in this Labs area here is Quick Controls. I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice a difference right away in the web browser. Everything, the search bar, address bar, tabs, it's all gone. You basically only have your web page here. And then, of course, your basic honeycomb controls down at the bottom. Now, you might ask, how are you going to actually type in an address or, uh, of a website or switch tabs? Well, that's easy. That's where the quick controls come into play. If you're holding your tablet like this, and I'm kind of to the side because I'm trying to film this, if you're holding your tablet with both hands like this, all you have to do is move your thumb onto the screen. And what do we have here? Quick controls. You have your forward browser, your back browser button, your reload button, your multiple windows button here. If you want to add a window, you can do that. If you want to X out the current window, click on that. If you want to go and go to the address bar, you click here. If you want to go to your bookmarks, you click here. And if you want to go to your menu, you click here. So everything's at your fingertips. Now you might notice that, you know, I'll just press on an area and it just hovers over it for a long time. The way to select it is to actually let go. So select the button you want to go to. I'm actually going to go to where the address bar is and then let it go. And there you go. There's your address bar and your keyboard pops up at the bottom. Now it's not only on the right side, it's also on the left side. So as you can see, it's right here. If I wanted to bring up another page here, bring up another page, and there we go. Totally brand new page there. If I wanted to go to my bookmarks, right there. So it's an option for you if you don't feel that you need your address bar area, you can actually use these quick controls. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.